LBOB match with Vanna Kubota that I beat at Madison Square Garden. So it's like we're hitting all these main cool uh, places to fight at and like checking them off my bucket list. So I'm excited to go to Japan. I never fought, fought in a ring before, but I've been working my wrestling off rings and stuff. But I mostly get most of my takedowns in the middle anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, that and I'm really confident. I've gotten well, gotten more confident in my stand up, especially after the last fight, um, finishing with a leg kick. Um, I've been really working on power and moving, really fixing little things and just really working on the basics. And I just feel a lot more confident in my stand-up. So, I mean, and even then, when we did go the first time, it's not like she blew me over with a stand-up, you know? So, it's just like, I, I mean, I hit her a couple times as well. And so, I'm not I'm not too worried about it. You know, there's a lot of things you want to you take off the bucket list. I mean, there's not going to be a lot of opportunities where I can soccer kick someone in the head or knee them in the face on the ground because we have different rules here. So I, I'm definitely going to try to take advantage of that. <laughs> obviously, I like the rule for me to do it to hobby. I mean, obviously, I don't want to get hit by those myself. So I'm making sure that I'm playing it safe as well and trying to work those into my games right now because, you know, that would be pretty terrible if it happened to me. So it's funny because when I was growing up, you know, kids are mean and I got made fun of a lot. So it was like I got bullied a lot for talking. And then it was funny because once I hit, like, college, I was, like, they just wanted to hear me talk. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's so cute. Oh, my God, I love it. Oh, my God, where are you from? And I'm like, I first I didn't know what to do because I was so used to, like, being nervous to speak. And, like, certain words I can't really say that well. So it was just, like, always nerve-wracking. And now it's, like, everybody loves it. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'll take it. I've been wanting to get up to Montreal so bad to train at TriStar. I've been wanting to get up there so bad because I was listening to Kalaz talk on Joe Rogan's podcast and stuff. And... I, George St. Pierre is like the man. So like I always, I have all those books. I was just a huge fan. I had a poster in my room growing up. <laughs> I just, yeah, he's awesome. So I would love to go up there and train. Uh, hit up my sponsors, guys. I'm gonna make a big post after this. Um, Christmas is coming up. Gift certificates, good idea. Meal prep, what I'm about to eat. One of my meals right here. Some some blackened salmon, Brussels sprouts, and sweet potato. Come on, come on now. So get gift certificate for uh, Chef Steph. Um, massage therapy. Come on, nope. I really like some massage. You know, you can't go wrong with massage. And Hope is the best in the area. So, you know, hit up my sponsors, guys, because you know, gotta share the love.